at least. Mm -hmm. And we got Mr. and Mrs. Jerry and Jessica Felder. Let's welcome to Get Down to Business. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Awesome, awesome. awesome. Love, yeah, we appreciate y'all taking the time to come in with us. So tonight, we're going to be talking about marriage and finance. Oh. Yeah, right? Like, you want to make that noise because it's almost like taboo. And the reason we want to talk about that is that divorce is at an all-time high. And when you ask people what's the number one reason, or if you Google it, the number one reason they say for divorce is uh, finances and social media. Mm -hmm. So we all know that Facebook could be the devil if not used <laughs> properly, right? But when it comes to finances, one of the things in, in my career that I've, I've been talking to people that I'm starting to understand is not finances that people are arguing over. It's the lack of communication or education about the spouse. One of the things that really came to me that I thought was really, really deep was that people will share themselves intimately before they, they share themselves financially. And by the time you get to know the person that you're with financially, it's already too late. You're married or you're deep in love or y'all in an apartment together or a house. So tonight we're going to, you know, we have two married couples successfully. Um, I think I'm my success to my marriage is my wife is a poor shot. She hasn't caught me yet. <laughs> But we just want to talk about some of the <laughs> we want to talk about some of the things that we cannot per se bulletproof our marriages, but some of the things that we should really be talking about to young um, people that are coming up or old people coming up, because people think just because they're old they don't they know everything. Yeah, That's well, not old. Old. Well, they're mature, seasoned. seasoned. They know, <laughs> not old. Okay, I stand correct. <laughs> not old, you mature. But even in being mature. You can always learn something because I truly believe once you start learning, you start dying. So with that being said, we're going to open it up um, and we're going to just just a little bit, Jess and Jerry, tell people how you guys met, how long you guys been together. Well, um, we met in college. I went to Morehouse College and Jessica went to Spelman College. Um, we met at a house party some years ago um, at Mutual Friends House, at okay. a Mutual Friends House and... Um, been going strong ever since. Yes. Um, Almost six years married. Almost six years married. Okay. How long have you guys been together? Six years. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Didn't well, take long. Didn't take long. About six, six, and, six and a half. About six and a half. About six and a half. About six and a half. <laughs> 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 My guy Jerry is smooth. He swept it right off his feet. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, six and a half years. Um, it hasn't been a cakewalk. Um, you know, the first year was, was pretty... Interesting. Interesting, I would say. A good word, yeah, I like it. Yeah, it was interesting, man. And, it was uh, and yeah, uh, it was <laughs> <laughs> But it's been cool. You know, we've worked, we've worked um, over the years, worked on our marriage constantly, mm -hmm. um, keeping God first, trying to keep God first in everything we do. Um, so it, it's been, it's been cool, man. The, these later years have been, been much better than the first couple of years. I say that. All right. Well, that's. That's definitely awesome. So tell tell everybody what do you what do you do for a living? Well, um, we are I would say serial entrepreneurs. Um, we um, have several businesses that we operate. Uh, main one is a trucking company, mm -hmm. um, and we have a real estate company as well. I'm a licensed realtor. Um, and that's right. it is. Okay, well you. We're going to have to, at the end of the show, we're definitely going to let you plug that too and plug all of the businesses. So. We're going to have to have some good, healthy coffee with some travel. Uh, yeah, right. well, look at here. we got to make these businesses work, man. That's right. What about, and, and Jess, with, with Jessica, i got to say Jessica, I call her Jess. <laughs> Jess is um, fine. Yeah, so, and you tell, tell me a little bit, Jess, I know you, you told me a little bit about the businesses. Tell me your role in the businesses that you guys have. Uh, well, I uh, come from a corporate background. Um, I have been in corporate America for the last six years. Uh, working um, with different sales and finance, I've done uh, quite a bit actually. Um, but with the businesses that we have, it's um, it goes from everything from the <coughs> advisory roles to um, working on the finance side of it all, and the planning, the strategy of mm -hmm. it, um, all of the the details mm -hmm. that sometimes um, we can forget about. I take care of some of those things. And just, um, I'm big on systems and planning and building systems. So that's really my niche there in our, our businesses. Awesome. She's okay. the real superstar. <laughs> yeah, she's the background, right? That's right. Well, speaking of superstars, I wasn't going to let it, I can't let it happen. I let them introduce, but I saved the, the best for last, my better half, my wife, Darlene Bailey. Um, so I just want you to tell them now, I'm putting my wife on the spot a little bit. 
She gonna say she's not good with numbers, but we've been together how long, Darlene? Since 2003. See, she couldn't say that. She couldn't say that. She couldn't say that's the year we got married. How long we been together? Since 2000. So, so tell the people. Together 17 years. Tell tell the people about our what we do. Tell tell everybody about our business and what we do. What businesses we do? <coughs> okay, so Again, Sean, we're serial entrepreneurs as well. Yeah, yeah, very very. We have different flavors of businesses. So on the day to day, Sean is a 100% financial advisor, financial planner, financial lifestyle coach. Uh, that's all day, every day, 24-7, 365. Uh, we also have a little tiny insurance company that we're building this year. We're going to expand it a little bit more. Um, we'll be able to offer anything from business insurance, key man insurance, to auto and home insurance. So we're, we're looking to really grow that. And then, of course, the main business for me is my travel agency. I am the owner of Bailey's Travels. I love what I do. I love sending people on vacation to just unplug, relax, and just enjoy themselves, their free time. Well, awesome. Well, the reason I selected this dynamic, um, the dynamic host we have tonight is because everybody on this panel or, or, or our guest, my guest tonight are business owners. And when you talk about finances and divorce and marriage, Communication is so, so key. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I said was that, you know, people will share themselves intimately, be, be, you know, and this is a little bit of an adult subject, but people will go as far as having sex with someone before they even know the little things like how you spend money. Mm -hmm. Because let's be real, as men, that's what we try to do. We put that, that I wouldn't even say it's a front on, but we put our best foot forward to dinner, <coughs> and buying stuff and doing all of that. But then not realizing that you might not be compatible financially, mm -hmm. Absolutely. right? So mm -hmm. you, you, your spouse may be a saver and you're a spender. Mm -hmm. And what happens is in all marriages, everybody sees signs. You see signs. And you just ignore that. Be like, okay, when we get real serious, I can maybe fix that. Yeah. But that's who that person is. Right. And instead of trying to fix it, you might want to ask that person to make an adjustment that we can make this thing work. Right, right. So... I want everybody a little honesty here. We don't want to go too deep. How long were you guys together? And I'm going to start with Darlene. How long were we together before you realized who I was financially? I think it took a little over two years for us to fully, really understand each other financially. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I can credit is we both had parents that were on top of finances. Okay. And with my banking background, I I, play no games. <laughs> with my banking background, I began to learn the importance of saving and investing and knowing when to spend and when not to spend. And I think, you know, at that two year mark, uh, once you got into banking, you start to feel the same trends. So I think that helped us out. Yeah, we both were young and we both did have our spending habits, but it was nothing that broke the bank for us. I.e., what she's trying to say is that we were young and we blew a lot of money. Yes, we did. And a little tidbit, I don't know if I shared this, guys, with you, but if it wasn't for Darlene's push, I wouldn't be in finance. Because I was, you know, as you can see from my stature, a pretty nice-sized fella <laughs> playing football. I was a bouncer, and I was making really good money. And I was enjoying because he was yeah. always at work. <laughs> and she had made a decision. She was like, I don't see enough of you. You need to go and get this job as a bank teller. And I'm like, man... And little do we know that's what God was really directing me to, to do that. So Before we even join the church together. <clears throat> yeah, God, I mean, God is awesome. Even when you don't know it, he's always working on your behalf. That's right. Yes. He always had a plan because, I mean, sure. you, we all done some dumb things that could have taken us out for God. For God, you know what I mean? I just, I, and I joke about it, but I always say this, but I mean it. Like, won't he do it? That's right. Won't he do it? That's so. Right. The same question to you guys. I'll give you guys both an opportunity because you'll be surprised at the, eight, the answer. But how long was it before you knew who Jessica was financially, Jerry? Um, excuse me. I would probably have to say about uh, maybe a year, a little less. Um, when we first met, we didn't have we didn't have a lot of money, so it wasn't really a um, a major thing to worry about. I should say. Um, she was still in college, and I, um, I was, I was out. Of, well, when we got married, I should say, she was in her senior year, uh, finishing up, and I had already graduated. So, I was 
I, I was driving trucks making money, but I wasn't making that much. So okay. uh, we didn't really have a lot of financial problems um, until we brought everything together and started getting mail and paying <laughs> bills and all that good stuff. So we kind of just built it together, honestly. She's pretty frugal. I'm pretty frugal, you know, so we just kind of just work work together. She she has um, great parents that taught her great values and um, have done very, very well in life. So I have my parents, they taught us good values and stuff. So uh, we didn't, we honestly didn't have a lot of financial problems um, like that, honestly. Cool. I mean, she I'll did. say one thing that I, that I will add is that um, our first few dates, we would go to the bank and it's so funny, like mm-hmm. we would ride around just, he had like a ton of jobs at that time. It was just like, he may do one thing where he has one check and then he has another check and another check. We literally would just go around depositing checks in the bank. Yeah. And that was our date. Like, it was just like, what are, you, what are we going to do? So great date to be. <laughs> <laughs> it was wow. awesome. I don't know. I want to go on that date. <laughs> yeah. and I, you take I, me I, to the bank, bank, darling. It was so much days. fun. It was just like, oh, yeah, we'll just days. ride around. We'll get something to eat. Then we'll just go to different banks and mm-hmm. drop mm-hmm. off cities. Yes. And I'm like, what? And yeah. I love that. Like, we just would deposit money. Um, but I will say, I agree, it was maybe about the year mark or a little less because we came into our relationship over finances. Like, we bonded on money mm-hmm. in the beginning because I was going through a really rough time and a lot of my friends had abandoned me and were just like, oh, you have too much going on. That's real life stuff. We're still in college. And so I'm going through, like, grown-up issues at this time. Like mm-hmm. So um, a lot of my really good friends were just like, you know, and of course I had, like, one friend who forever will be my like rock she really helped me down how I met him um, That's right. <laughs> but when when we first met it was about I can help you with that like I see your problem and that's nothing like we know men are problem solvers naturally mm-hmm. and just in normal conversations like girl that's not a big deal mm-hmm. like we can solve that mm-hmm. you'll be you'll be fine in no time you'll be buying this and you'll have this and you'll have that and I'm like oh, I love it <laughs> dreams goals right. let's do that yeah, that's right <laughs> So that was that was the beginning of our relationship. So it wasn't too hard to build on that that okay. background. Well, that I mean that is definitely awesome because as you said, as men, that's what we want to do. We always want to be that provider, that protector, and we have that. That's our mantra, you know, never stop dreaming. So it's funny when she said that. But again, my answer to that question is like Darlene said, it was about um, I'd say about two two and a half years because what me and Darlene both realized is at that time, even though we had the financial knowledge, we were both spenders. Um, and what we would do is, you know, we kept saying, well, we're young, we got time. Even though we knew at that time we should have been putting something away at least a little bit and then spending the rest, we were spending, we got time, we got time, we got time. And I think what our problem was is that we came together, like I said, about two and a half years. I'd even say three that we realized, like, we're, we're a little out of control. We're a little out of control. And yeah, when you go shopping and you can't fit in your car because there's too much stuff oh, in there, wow. then you realize, yeah, well, to this our might de- not. You know, to our defense, it was a little car. I'm a big guy, <laughs> like you know. Yeah. <laughs> but but in all in all seriousness, we we didn't realize that. And um, one of the subjects that we're gonna broach is like early on, we knew, especially being in banking, <laughs> and I think we talked about this a little bit before we went on the air. We had joint accounts. Like right. she saw my money, I saw her money. Mm-hmm. How do you guys feel about that? We were the same exact way. Even before we, um, we you know, we, we got married, we <clears throat> we always shared with each other with the accounts. Uh, when we first met, she had her own account. I believe it was Wells Wells Fargo, mm-hmm. and um, I had Chase Chase Bank. And um, um, we, we, like I said, we we shared everything even before getting married. And her name was on my some of my accounts. My name was on hers. We always just felt like we were transparent. At least that's one less thing we have to worry about. Because mm-hmm. I always felt like if she didn't turn out to be the right one for me and took all the money, I'm okay. I'll make it again. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So, and money it, it didn't drive me like that. <coughs> you know. Well, so thank God you, she's the right one. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. So that's what right. do you say to your married friends uh-huh. that be like, oh no, we have separate accounts still? Well, like where? It's it's a weird subject in that you can't necessarily say. That's not, it's not a right or wrong, but I think it's, it, it eliminates a lot of problems when you have accountability. Like when you can say, um, like for me, today I went to a thrift store and I bought earrings. 
I like and I spent I spent the dollar on my little earrings. So like, guilty. No, I used cash because I was like, I do not want him to see that I'm well, shopping that on, <laughs> on a Thursday. Where that money come from? <laughs> <laughs> when our budget does not start till Friday, like we don't budget, you know, until a certain day of the week. So I'm like, mm-hmm. Thursday, this budget is done for the week. <laughs> I do not need to be shopping. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, let me use my cash. But that saves us, and it's not about him being mad. He would not have been. I could have went in that store and bought the whole thing out. He'd have been like, okay, babe, did you get me a shirt? Did you get something for the kids? That would have been it. No big deal. He's Neither of us is just like, well, why did you do this? And you shouldn't have. But knowing that you're sharing with another person, knowing that everything I do affects him. So if I go and I ball out at Red Lobster and just get, you know, like, get, them or <laughs> get whatever you want, do whatever uh-huh. you want to do, I know that he's going to see the account. And maybe in his mind, he had it to do a date night for me or, Mm -hmm. you know, to buy the kids this or to do this next week or we're going to start saving. Like, it was an idea that he was going to talk to me later that night or vice versa. If we go and we just do whatever we want. Right, so, like you said, there may be $10,000 in the bank and I'm like, oh, it's only $500, but I don't know what she may have planned or if we're it's it's a it's a line with the yeah, or Mm -hmm. if it's a line with the mission that we have as a family. When people come together as a marriage, you come together as one. People forget that. Mm-hmm. You can have everything else but my money. Right. Don't tell me what to do with my money. But if we're a team and we're building to get to the same place, if mm-hmm. 10000 is in there and I put nine in, you put 1000 that's still that 10000 is our that's money. Right. That's right. And a lot of times people will get this bravado and say, well, I'm putting most of the money in there. I can do what I want with it. Mm-hmm. That should be a part of the plan. I talk about that. Like we, we talk about that. There are things that I like to do that are budgeted for that. And when the budget right. is done, that's then done. so is my wants for that. And it's like people get married and they act like, well, that's my spouse. They can't tell me what to do. Then wait, why are you why y'all married if y'all not? If you're not going to communicate with one another to a point, yes, that is not your mother, that is not your father. Submission but is we real. are exa- my God. And see, as men, what I want the men that are listening to this to hear, submission is a two way street. Mm, that's amen. Right. Because you have to not only submit to your wife. Like people say, well, I, well, the wife's supposed to submit to me, while you're submitting to God. Mm-hmm. and treating your wife like Christ would treat the church. So if you're abusing your wife and all of that, then you're talking about, well, they, they dictated that that church ain't going nowhere. Maybe that's how you are. Right. And when you talk about that, like, I, you know, again, I told you that. Somebody said, well, I just give my wife a check and she pay the bills and then my money's my money. Mm-hmm. I hear how, that are y'all build, how are y'all building together when y'all so far apart? Right. Well, people fail to realize when you're, like you said, when you're, <laughs> If you can give somebody your money, they got pretty much everything. Absolutely. And I have no problem with it. If I make a majority of the money, because everybody knows, there was a point in time where Darlene was just at home. Mm-hmm. And she handled the finances. Literally, Darlene was telling me, you got $100 to spend this week. Mm-hmm. I could have easily tripped and been like, wait, what? I make all the <laughs> money. I was like, all right, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, so That's I'm like, me, but, guys. but here's the thing. I, I never worried. My life's never got cut off. Mm-hmm. I never wanted for anything. I was driving the biggest truck I ever drove in my life. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it was order in the house. And when when you wow. get married, you have to know that. But again, like, people don't even know what type of debt somebody's bringing in. Because you know True. when you get married, that debt becomes yours. Absolutely. That's right. and, it, and it's things like that. So um, I think we're having a great, great time. We're going to go ahead and take our first break. I'm really excited about this. But before we go, guys... Again, if you want to call in and you got questions or concerns or something you want to air out or talk about, please call us and talk to us. The number here is 770-415-2149. Again, 770-415-2149. We're going to be back talking about marriage and finances, man. Where do you stand with it? Give us a call and let us know, all right? We'll be right back after this. We're dope. That's dope. We're That's killing good. it. We're killing it. I don't see this often. You guys are all right. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go out of here. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it was order in the house. And when, when you wow. get married, you have to know that. But again, like, people don't even know what type of debt somebody's bringing in. Because you know True. when you get married, that debt becomes yours. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, it, and it's things like that. So... Um, I think we're having a great, great time. We're going to go ahead and take our first break. I'm really excited about this. But before we go, guys, again, if you want to call in and you got questions or concerns or something you want to air out or talk about, please call us and talk to us. The number here is 770-415-2149. Again, 770-415-2149. We're going to be back talking about marriage and finances, man. Where do you stand with it? 
Give us a call and let us know, all right? We'll be right back after this. We're dope. That's dope. We're That's killing good. it. We're killing it. I don't say this right. often. You guys are. <laughs> <laughs> we need to go on.